Hello everyone, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to show you how to pair your 8-Bit Do SF30 Pro Controller to your Nintendo Switch, plus do a quick review. To start off with, you want to make sure that controller is fully charged and it takes about 2 hours. Next, we're going to press the Y button and the Start button at the same time for about 1 second, then let go. Now the LED lights on the bottom of the controller should be going from right to left. Now it's time to press the pairing button that's located on the top of the controller and we're going to hold that for about 2 seconds. Now those LED lights should be going from left to right. So now the controller is in pairing mode and it's time to go to your Nintendo Switch and press the controller icon that's located right here. Once that's open we're going to select change grip order and that's going to begin the pairing process on the Nintendo Switch and it should automatically sync up. And there we go, the controller is now paired and I should have a solid LED light now on the bottom of the controller indicating that it is paired. Okay, it's time to test this out and see how well it works. And now the home button is going to be the far right button located right here. So if we press that, that's going to take us back to the home screen. And this far left button is going to be your screenshot button. So if we press that, it's going to capture whatever's on your screen at the moment. And as far as the rest of the buttons go, it is pretty self-explanatory and easy to figure out what the buttons do. And I did test this out for Mario Kart 8 and this thing worked awesome. The rumble support worked, everything worked like it should, including those analog sticks. But unfortunately I can't show that gameplay footage because of copyright issues. So instead we're going to check out Bad Dudes by Johnny Turbo's Arcade. And after testing this controller for quite a bit, I don't seem to notice any lag and it seems to work as it should. This controller makes a great alternative instead of using your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. For one, you get the traditional D-pad. And second, you get the best of both worlds. You get the Super Nintendo button layout plus the PlayStation button layout combined in one controller. Now let's take a quick look at the controller. This is what comes inside the box. You get your manual, you get a USB charging cable, and this is not a micro USB cable. This is a USB-C cable. So you want to make sure you keep a hold of this and not lose it. And I really like the button layout on this controller. We got the two analog sticks at the bottom. We got a directional D-pad right here. And if you're familiar with Super Nintendo, then you're going to be able to use this controller no problem. And the same thing goes for PlayStation because it's got a very similar layout to the PlayStation controller as well. On the top of the controller, we got our left and right shoulder buttons plus trigger buttons as well. And all these buttons are nice and clicky. And as far as the construction goes, it feels very nice when I'm holding my hand. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And here it is next to a Super Nintendo controller. And as you can see, the size and design is very similar. But the color scheme on this 8 bit controller is based off the Super Famicom, not the Super Nintendo. And here it is next to a PlayStation 3 controller, and that's what makes this so cool. It has a very similar button layout to a Super Famicom, but it also has a very similar button layout to a PlayStation 3 controller. And this controller is compatible with all types of devices, including the Switch, Android, Windows, Mac, RetroPie devices such as Raspberry Pi 3, and the Oidroid XU4, and the list goes on. And if you're looking to get one of these controllers, you can find these at GearBest.com, which is where I got mine. And they also have a sale going right now for the SN30 Pro, which would be the Super Nintendo version. And that right now is going for 33 bucks. Okay, it's time for me to go. Have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.